guys welcome back to my channel today I will show you how to make some shrimp stock so the next time you have a decent amount of shrimp that you'll be cooking go ahead and keep the shells it makes a delicious delicious stock stay tuned I'll show you what to this pan I'm gonna go ahead or pot I will go ahead and add just a little bit of oil to my oil I will go ahead and add, as is referred to as the Trinity, which is your carrots, onion, and some celery, guys. Okay. I'm gonna cook, cook them down just a little bit. Cook it just a little bit. So I'm not gonna let this cook for four or five hours. I'm gonna let it cook for maybe about an hour to an hour and a half. So this is why I kind of cut mine a little smaller. And guys. After a few minutes of this cooking, I'm going to go ahead and add tomato paste. Let's just do it. And if you want a clear sauce, then I'll add the tomato paste. We're going to just let this cook down so we can remove some of that raw taste of the carrots. And if you don't want to do this on the stove top, stove top, you can go ahead and mix all this together and stick it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and then pull it back out. And that'll be that. This has been cooking for about 10 minutes. Okay, guys. Our onions are starting to get a little soft. So we're gonna cook, get the rest of the way. And here's our shrimp shells, guys, that I reserved. I had them in the freezer. It's, it's been about a month now since they've been in the refrigerator. So what I did is just take it out, let it sit in some water so we can kind of remove the ice. So I'm going to go ahead and add it straight in like this. And if you can notice, you're going to start noticing the shells of your shrimp it will start changing colors, guys. And that's exactly what you're looking for. All right, guys, what you want to go ahead and do is give it a stir. If you notice, our shell is starting to turn colors. This is what you're looking for. I'm going to let this cook for a couple more minutes before I go ahead and add in my liquid and whatever else I will add. Oops. My stove is clean, guys, so I'm going to let this cook for a couple more minutes. I'm going to rotate it. So the next time you have your shrimp skin uh, shells, do not throw them out. Put them inside of a freezer bag and these things to freeze up I freeze them up to six months before so over the months you just keep saving your shrimp skins or even your crab shells okay you don't want to throw anything away all right to that guys I will go ahead and add some stems 
and then I'm going to add bay leaf. You can also add peppercorns to it. Um, so I'm going to just add some peppercorn. Uh -oh. Yeah. Okay, right, guys. Okay. Not a lot. If you had the whole peppercorns, you could just smush them and add that, but I'm just, I grated just a little bit. All right, guys, see how nice and they turn colors. If you could smell this, guys, <laughs> it smells very good. So to this, I'm gonna go ahead and cover it. Um, cover our shrimp shells with water, guys. We're gonna add water until they're covered. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and allow this to come to a boil. And once it comes to the boil, I'm gonna reduce my stove to a number two. We're gonna let it simmer for about an hour to an hour and a half on a number two, that's a low medium. Um, you will, I will not add any salt or seasoning to this because I just want to keep it plain. So whenever I'm making something, a soup, or even if I'm making some rice and I want to add some, you know, um, shrimp flavor to it, you don't want to already have salt in it, okay? So once it cooks, I'll come back and show you what your shrimp broth looks like. All right, guys, this has been simmering for an hour and a half now. Go ahead and turn my stove off. Just want to show you what our broth look like. So the next time you're doing a recipe that calls for shrimp or any type of seafood um, broth, go ahead and make your own and eliminate all of the preservatives. So I'm going to go ahead and strain it, let it cool down. I'm going to use some today and freeze the rest. Until next time, guys, please like, comment, do not forget to subscribe.